Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikkel, and I want to start this video off by saying Happy New Year! Happy New Year to everybody. I know we was only going for 10 days, you know. For some people, it felt like forever. But, you know, I really wanted to, you know, do a vacation last week. I didn't want to do no videos. I just wanted to lay up, and that's all I did. Lay up and play video games all week. That's all I did. Um, why are you looking at me? You look like I, I ate or something. You like, bitch, and ate. No, like, no, 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 I didn't say uh, that. You didn't say it, but you know. But I, I just had a good time. I didn't even make a video as much as I wanted to make a video. You know. You stuck to your promise. I, 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 wow. I told I was, you I wasn't going to do a video. I was very shocked. When I didn't see a please retweet pop up in my timeline. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> But make sure y'all please retweet this video. This is the first video of 2012. Please thumbs up the video. I don't care. You know, some people like say, well, I don't thumbs up until I see something. And it's funny. Well, <laughs> thumbs up this damn video. Share this video on Facebook and Twitter. Please share this video on your Facebook. Please share this video on your Twitter. Like, please, please, please. Thank you. Um, you know, how was your vacation last week? Well, you know, I was on vacation from my real job mm -hmm. because for some people they don't they think that this is my real job. Like but it's I, mine. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I actually do have a <laughs> another job other than YouTube. You know, somebody told me over the weekend. You know. Oh, well, let's get into that in a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. I just said. Wait, let's get into that in a little bit. Wait. You know, and I didn't deny this job. Okay. I didn't deny it because I love this job. You know, I love this job. This is okay. two checks coming in. Mm -hmm. But for some odd reason, that person thought that I only worked just this one job. Mm -hmm. What the hell? But anyway, my full-time job, my other job other than YouTube, mm -hmm. I was on vacation for two weeks. Yes, I was. I was on vacation for two weeks. And so I, I had, I, all I did was just, I went everywhere. I went to New York twice. Um, I drove down to Baltimore, um, saw some friends. Um, uh, shout out to Eric and Chavez. Um, shout out to Tamar. I, I spent... Um, a day with Tamar, we went shopping in New York, her and my friend Sean. The three of us went shopping in New York and we had fun. Um, Tamar Braxton is a bona fide star um, because while we were shopping, <laughs> you know, you know, people were like, oh, wait, is that? Wait, that's not, is it? Is it? And then they were like, ah, ah, you know, and it was, I, I was waiting in line at one point when Sean and Tamar were like going through the racks of the store. And so I was waiting in line. And so whatever the case may be, I went over to them to say something to them. And so I think Sean said something like, oh, we just asked that the girl came over to Tamar and said something about, you know, she loved Tamar and this and the third. So I think, um, I think it was Tamar who said she was here with me or something like that and asked the girl if she knew about the Scorpion show and the girl said no. <laughs> she didn't know who we were. But she should have ruled her day. But, but I thought... For some odd reason, you know, when Sean told me, I guess Sean probably thought that I was going to get up, going to get upset. But I didn't get upset because it felt like, it felt like, because everybody don't know. Who yeah, like are. it felt a little like okay, you know, you know, I just we just have to do more, more, and you know, we have to be more, do more, and do better before everyone knows who we are. You know, knows who we are. So I thought it was a little funny. You know, Sean was. Like he was telling me, like he was a little upset, like oh, I can't believe she didn't know who you were. And I was like, you know, it's all right, it's all right. You know, they don't know who I am, but it's okay. But I had fun over the weekend. Um, my vacation was a blast. Okay, so today, okay, so you know, I had two weeks off from work, and then I was scheduled to come back to work today to go back to my real job today, my full time job from eight to four thirty. That job. So, I get up this morning at 6 six o'clock in the morning like I always do. Got up, realized it was too cold because I was going to take the train like I usually do before I got a car. But I said, no, I'm going to drive my car because it's really cold outside and after work I can just go to Kevin's house. So, I get up, get dressed, go to work. As I'm walking, as I park my car and I'm walking to work, I'm like, okay, I know this is a brand new new year and I know it's still early, but why isn't anybody the fuck out here? Why am I the only one walking down 34th Street? Mm -hmm. So I'm walking and walking and walking and then I get to one of the entrance, the entrance of my job and it's locked. So I'm like, oh my God, I don't have my ID and security is not going to let me in unless I have my ID. So then I see this, another girl from my department and I say, wait a minute. Since the holiday was yesterday on Sunday, doesn't it count for today? And she said, yeah, it does. And I'm like, oh! Mm. But I was happy because I got to go back home and sleep. Child, McCall should have known. If, if, 
at the I, holiday well, ball no, on I didn't Sunday. realize. You know why? Because I've been off of work for so, so long, long and I was so anxious to get back to work, even though I didn't want to go back to work. I was anxious to get back I'm to work so where I can get into the groove of it. Because okay. you know, once you're out of work for a few days, for me, two weeks, you're like, oh my God, I don't ever want to go back to work. Because that's how I felt last night. I did not want to come back to work. But... Christmas was fine, y'all. Yo. You know, my family came over that day. We ate. Everybody read each other. I was here too. Yeah, Macau had another. I don't know why he was here. You know, I don't live here. I don't live here. Well, I was here and because boom, my he cousin, was here. I mean, for a couple of hours. Yeah, well, because my cousin Christmas dinner didn't start at her house yet, mm -hmm. so I thought I'd waste time here at your house. Waste time. <laughs> well, I mean, hello. You know, I mean, you know, you know how Macau like the instant. Like, oh, oh, you want to say that, or you heard this and heard that. But you know, Christmas was fun. I went out to the club. You know, I came home. You know, I stayed home all week. You know, I stayed, I did stay home all week. And then I had my hotel party this weekend. Okay, oh, for can New I, Year's. Can I, can I answer this real quick? Hell no. <laughs> okay. Tasha need to wait. <laughs> We ain't gonna start the new year off wrong, you know. Okay. They like, oh, you eating on video, you know. Uh uh. Tasha need to call some other time. You at work. Send her straight to voicemail. Well, she stopped calling. Oh. Well, I, wait, my ass is still vibrating. <laughs> oh. Sorry. You got one of Candy's toys, huh? All right. Bitch. No, you the phone. Enjoy. No, let me stop. No, but I threw a hotel party on. You know nobody came on time. I said, all right, everybody get here like nine. People started coming like around 10 o'clock. You know, I was inspecting to see people brought bottles. You know, this bitch ain't bring no bottle. But I was just happy that. Moi? Yes, you. Uh, he did not go to the liquor store to bring me a bottle. You know, I actually hid two bottles because I said, they're not going to soak up all of this liquor. Just drink, 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 drink. But it was just so much fun and nobody called hotel security on us because when i got to that hotel they're talking about nobody there no bitch you tried it <laughs> well i'm no, 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 the I'm in the hotel everybody was out but partying they talking about something no party policy i'm like and then i had to sign that i wasn't going to have no party i knew damn well i was going to have a party you know but we just had fun shout out to brandon dan keenan david darnell Danelle, um, Mario, Mikel, Ra Ra, um, Calvin, a couple of kids that I didn't know came, you know, and it was just fun, fun, fun. I had to kick these bitches out around one something though, because I said, all right, y'all, it's time to go. I'm ready to go to the club. And they all just spread out in the hallway <laughs> like it ain't no damn hotel, like it's Nothing going on. Mikel up there arguing with somebody. I mean, they was arguing for a good time. You know, and then I had to step in like, hold the fuck up, hold the fuck up. Now, I don't remember what I said, but they're not going to say everything that you want to say to Mikel. Think that it's okay. No, it's not. You know, then you had a nerve talking about somebody's job. But, bitch, this is my job, bitch. And then it pays the bills very well. <laughs> no, he wasn't talking about you. He was talking about me. So what? I just said he can pay very well to work two hours a week. <laughs> this bitch done bought a car. What the hell is going on? But <laughs> uh, uh, hello, I do have another job. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no. And then I said no because oh, my cow must really be rolling in it. Cause you know when it's payday, this bitch is here. Okay, he wasn't. He waited two days. No, he went inside to tweet him on Twitter. No. Okay. Because you said that you were gonna call me and let me no. know. No, on the 27th. You did not call oh, me and let me know. I said you better have my Christmas gift, or don't think you're gonna have your money on the 27th. So I thought he should have known. Oh, that. I didn't okay. hear that part. I text you. Oh. On Christmas, and then you like, oh, bitch, you tried it or whatever. But yo, that party was off the hook. We yeah, took fine. shots. We fought for our right to party, me and Dan. It was supposed to be me, Dan, and Brandon wearing the same shirt. But you, but you know, Brandon. Brandon, you know. But anyway, it was just fun, man. It was fun. I had fun, too. It was a lot of fun. Yes. Did you enjoy your first kiss at midnight? Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Mikel Mikel took took shot. Shot. I'm okay. trying to over oh, hold up. So please don't hold go up. there. Wait. Mikel took shots. like. No, I took a shot. Shots. <laughs> I was surprised because you know one shot is equal to two when you uh, don't drink like that. But it was fun. Man. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. And thank you for taking me to the club on Saturday night too. Because you never. I know you didn't take me. You were supposed to take me. You want to take Brandon, not take me. No, wait a minute. No, I wasn't supposed to take you.
you know, I was supposed to take, I wasn't even supposed to take Brandon because Brandon said that my car was parked too far and he wasn't walking. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, fine, I'm leaving. But you never got in the elevator. And once we got downstairs in the lobby, we were still arguing, me and the guy. Mm -hmm. We were still arguing. And so Brandon was like, come on, let's just go this way. And then he started walking with us. And that's how I wound up taking him to the club. Mm -hmm. I walked from the hotel to the club. I, I noticed that definitely. because everybody was at the club before you. And I said, oh, Kevin must not be coming. Yeah, I, I walked. I By yourself? Mm -hmm. But where, was, where did everybody go? They went inside the club. Clear. They went. They went to the club. I'm trying to find an ATM. I'm pressing the button. One of the ATMs and ran out of money. Child. Said they go across the street. You know, I, I was scared because sometimes when you're intoxicated, you is take that out. window open? Yes. It, it's Where? Okay. Up there. It, it's kind of shit. It's a little bit cold because it's hot. Yeah, I, because I feel. I just felt like somebody Are went too cold. No, I didn't even feel the oh. air until it felt like somebody went. That's what it felt felt like. I felt it too. It's a, it's a ghost in here, you know. But, you know, I walk to the club. I'm walking and calling everybody. I'm just like, Happy New Year. I'm talking to the people on the street. Happy New Year. Yeah, I just had a nice, that was a nice 10 Let me tell you minute something. walk. Me and Ra Ra, after we dropped Brandon off at the club, mm -hmm. and I was driving down Broad Street back towards City Hall, we got a good kiki off those old white women who were drunk in the yes. street. I mean, let me tell you something. Everywhere. Next year, I want to hang out with the old white women. Because they was all drunk in the middle of the street yelling Happy New Year. Everybody was waving down cabs. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, Robert, he was like, well, thank God they're not driving. They're waving down cabs. But child, all I saw was a bunch of white, white old women in the middle of the street. Happy New Year! And they would just fall off. all. I not, when I mean old, I mean wrinkled old. Like they look like they were I said, I didn't see Brent old, but I seen, oh, I, I seen the everybody. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Everybody was drunk. Oh. Everybody, Happy New Year and oh my high goodness. fiving. I saw this one girl, she had like this cat suit on, and her boyfriend had like the similar looking cat suit on, oh, and their pants was all glittery and shimmery. I mean, well, she I'm looked good. Paper. She looked good. Her boyfriend, not so much. Mm. But that's neither here nor there. All I know is, I don't even remember the club, okay? All I know is, I took money that I didn't need to take out, I spent some. And I was back in the hotel in the bed asleep. And all I know is yesterday I was like, ooh, I couldn't do nothing yesterday. I did go out on a lunch date, but I couldn't do... Well, not, I mean, not, hello, not, clearly food. Well, <laughs> gotta eat. Yes. But it's just like I didn't have this. I was trying to stay awake, like, but I still had fun. But I was trying to stay awake. When I got to the hotel room, I laid down with the sleep. I watched Mob Wives. No, no, we're going we to talk about Mob, mob Wives in a little bit. <laughs> but let's talk about, you know, that was our New yeah. Year's. Now, let's start this video off with, you know, someone who don't have her name out there, but just wanted to throw her name out there, you know, just to get everybody talking while I was on vacation. Oh. I'm Viv. Oh, my God. I'm Viv in her motherfucking mouth. Uh, she is still bad-mouthing Will Smith like after the life after wasn't enough. You know, you had the spotlight. You said if you wanted me to kiss your ass and it needed to be in the contract and how young he was. I'm Viv. That was 20 fucking years ago. I would like to think that Will Smith is not the same person. You don't be around to know that he's still a jackass. Uh -huh. You don't know anything about him. He is a parent now. He has two children. They're doing three. very, very... But, well, I'm yeah, three. He do have three. But I was talking about Willow and Jaden, okay. who are doing very, very well. They have movies. They done their songs. They doing the motherfucking thing, okay? Not to mention and, his wife is an actress, too. And, okay, and her show just got canceled, but so what? Nobody nobody cares, you know? But they making money. And yeah. Willow done made over a million fucking dollars, a couple million dollars, okay? Like, Will is doing a damn thing. And, you know, if Will is really that ego... Uh, egotistic like you say then his children will really be everywhere they mm -hmm. would be shoved down our throats they would have the number one everything you know I, I, I'm like but not only that the rest of the cast members would feel yeah. the same way she, uh, Alfonso Re Ribeiro, Ribeiro who uh -huh. played Carlton him and Will Smith have been close friends ever since the show and they still are close friends He's really good friends with Tatiana Ali. They all just had a cast reunion together. All of them was uh, were there. It's mm -hmm. like, I think Aunt Viv is on this bitter train where she's just upset mm -hmm. that her meal ticket, the meal ticket that she was riding on for a few years, it, you know, it finally got pulled up from under her and she feels as though Will Smith is to blame, which he probably is to blame, but at the end of the day, it was his show and he was the star of the show. Um, and so Aunt Viv, like you said, 20-something years later, she needs to let whatever it is that she has bottled up, she needs to let it go. Because truth be told, nobody cares anymore. 
nobody cares and nobody cares, okay? <laughs> you need to continue to make those movie, those mm -hmm. movies that you claim in your life after that you are making or that you have been making since you were let fired from Fresh Prince. Mind you, I have not seen not one movie with her in it. The last time I seen I'm Viv was on Life After. Uh, and the Point last time before period. that was when she was pregnant with Nikki on Fresh Prince. Yes. Other than that, <laughs> I don't know what movie she, maybe she was in Jurassic Park, maybe she was one of the Raptors, I, mean, oh. I don't know, but at this, you need to make it very clear to me and Kevin and to the rest of the world what movies you are in so I can go to the, what is it, the IMBD or whatever it's called and, and do some research on you because I need to see these movies. she is too old to be that damn bitter. Okay, and you it's know, like, she met oh my cast, it was a cast photo, they asked you, you know what, you didn't have to be an old bit up, you know, I'm trying to be cute. Yeah. You didn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. All you had to do was say no comment. Uh -huh. You could have kept it to yourself. Kept it to yourself. But you still on this track. Well, what did you she say? What? Because I didn't even bother to listen she to She just it. cursed out Will Smith. He He's a, a punk. He did see that. She was saying everything. She just literally bad mouth to and the she, TMZ. And she wants an apology. Yeah. And and I, about that's the only way they're going to uh, Is if she gets an apology. But yeah, she's going around calling him this and that and you expect him to apologize to you? I think not. You know what I actually am happy? Is that Will Smith is really not, he not even responding about it. to this. You know, none of them really are. I mean, Alfonso Ribeiro made some remarks about it, but nobody is really paying her attention. And I think that's what's getting on her nerves, is that nobody is giving her the war that she wants. Nobody because cares. it's like Aunt Viv, first of all, you knew your career was done when you had an episode on Life After. Okay. Life After ooh, wait, ooh. your <laughs> career is done. <laughs> Sit wait, down, wait, down, okay, because that's down. what I be thinking. Like, who won't be on unsung from the '90s? Somebody is going to be. Yeah. Maya is you know, definitely going to have. Yes, yeah, she is. You know, and it's sad because you know, she but is. those type of shows, unsung and life after, are for those celebrities who once was and is no more. Yeah, and at Viv, child. you once was and you are no more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please let it go. Let it please let, let it go. It go. Uh, somebody else that needs to have a heart to heart this week was Deandra Sanders, <laughs> Deion Sanders' uh, daughter. Mm -hmm. She does not like her stepmother Pilar. Pilar and Deion Sanders are getting a divorce. Mm -hmm. It's getting very, very messy. And Deandra, who is the stepdaughter, but for some reason she looks so much like Pilar. She does. Huh? She looks like. Pilar spit her ass out. Uh -huh. You would have never known she was a stepmother. But this is my thing, Deandra. What's going on between your father and Pilar is between them. Mm -hmm. You don't. You. I mean, you don't. I mean, you have the right. But what is real messy of you is to sit there and to defend your father. Like your father is, you know the best thing in the world like you know Pilar started all of this who knows who, who knows what your father was doing what women he was fucking who who he was doing whatever with you don't even know all of that all you're saying is Pilar is a liar she's this and she's that and um her daughter won't she won't let me see her daughter everything she is just sorry she is just going off of everything you know I'm just like stay in a child's place Point blank period. Stay in the child's place. It's not It's not in your place to sit there and say who did this and who did that. Because you bring an un, unwanted attention to your family. Mm -hmm. Just let them have what they want to have and let it go. Yeah, I think that certain things should not be discussed, especially things like that. That should be a private family matter and she shouldn't, the last place she should go to is Twitter to to discuss Call herself, how, exposing you know, some fucking Yeah, lies. you're exposing her. And okay, Pilar may be a liar, but like you said, her father may. But then, you know, a you lot know, of times kids, they're going to side with, they're going to side with their parent because that's their parent. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Even if their parent is in the wrong, they're going to side with their parent because they love their parent and they want... I'm thirsty. Did you want, now you want to try it and they're going to talk about this moment. I'm right? just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, I'm just saying. At least it's water. I mean, but we didn't turn that leaf over all the way, clearly. Mm. But, um, uh, what's her name? Deandra. Yeah. You know, I think that, you know, this is something. First of all, I could care less about Deion Sanders getting a divorce from people. I sure don't care. You know, I don't care. They had their own reality show at one point. Mm -hmm. I did not care to watch. She's talking about Pilar just wants to be watch. famous. But Pilar, first of all, damn it, you she know. done had three kids by your father. Okay. okay, so she had to put her life on hold for your daddy. Mm -hmm. 
Because she was a successful model. And she, and she looks, looks damn good. good. After having those okay. three kids. She still looks like she could be a successful model. And I think that's also another thing that his daughter should not have done. Because you have, or you, 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 you claim, or whatever the case may be, this, you seem to have a good relationship with your brothers and sisters, but yet you're going on Twitter and blasting their mother. You know, that's not good. And I think that as their mother, after you get out there in the public and blast me, I don't think I want my kids to be around you either. Because no telling what you may say to my kids mm -hmm. while I'm not there. You know what I'm saying? You know how sneaky something You know how something Because you know your mom said this about my dad, and you know your mom. I wouldn't want you to She probably is the either. type that talks shit to Pilar. You ain't my mother. You can't do nothing to me. You can't tell me what to do. Uh, the way you ran it on Twitter is probably exactly how you talk to her. Mm -hmm. And that's how probably how you always looked at her because you wanted your mother and your father to be together. But they ain't together no more, all right? It's over with. Let it the fuck go. Let them go through what they're going to go through. Let them get a divorce. She's going to get paid, damn it. And it's all right. Let, let it go. Another person that needs to have several fucking seats, and she will be added to the Hall of Fame, is Erica fucking Mina from Love & Hip Hop. She came on Love & oh Hip Hop God. with a nasty ass, soggy attitude, oh when God. all you do is do music videos, okay? And I still don't know who you are, because no before. video models get some damn credit in these damn videos <laughs> anyway. Your name don't come up <laughs> on the bottom of the motherfucking screen. So how the hell am I supposed to remember you, okay? You fit in. And just like with the other video holes, light skin, <laughs> blonde hair, or dark hair, with an exotic look, you know, nice titties and a nice ass, and that's all you, that's all you good for. It's been a video, and then probably when you're not on front of that video, in front of a camera, you probably suck somebody's dick in a motherfucking trailer, okay? I'm not just talking about you, Erica, but I'm talking about a lot of these video hoes. Okay, you gotta have more respect for yourself mm -hmm. than being just a video ho with your titties out. And come on, you don't you don't got to do and all she, of the that. way she came at Cambella, she made it seem like it was a, a corporate office. Job. Yes, and she, she and mind you, she got pregnant by some dude named Raul that was a part of the Terror Squad. <laughs> you, I mean, <laughs> come who, on, who okay, was his name? Raul. <laughs> Raul. Who? Ain't that the guy who worked at the spaghetti joint? Okay, well, at the <laughs> nearest bodega. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Raul from Terror. See, I know Remy Ma, and I know Fat <laughs> Joe, and a new big pun. Okay, I ain't never heard of no Raul. Raul. Who is that? I don't he know. He don't work here no, no more. more. Where is he at? I don't know. And then she got the nerd to act like her man was Jay Z. Her baby father is Jay Z. You <laughs> taking money out of my pocket. Well, you know what? If somebody take the money out your pocket, then you need to go find somebody else that will pay you. Okay? Stop well, buying. Go find Raul. I do. Okay. How you doing? Okay, because where is he? I don't even know. Okay. What does he look like? Is he Puerto Rican? I don't know, but Raul sounds uh, Hispanic to me. <laughs> you can find him making sandwiches at the nearest bodega. But you ain't heard that from me. <laughs> I'm just saying. She fucking. <laughs> then she, I knew Dama she ain't never here or no goddamn. Um, Kim Bella. At least Kim Bella baby father got a name. We okay. all know no, Juel Santana. Santana. I mean, he may not be the biggest thing out there, but we know who he is. Yeah. I couldn't even tell you who Raul was. If you was, put Raul in the line up. And, and, and robbed me, and then had him in the I still couldn't. Well, who is he? I don't know. What? Who? Are you sure that's him who robbed me? Well, I don't know. I saw him, but I still didn't recognize him. But see, <laughs> the camera's got it set up like Yandy is the one that's Oh, Yandy, but, and but stuff. Yandy, Yandy you she, know, she did an interview saying that it was the producers who, who put, made, the, uh, put the it together. And, Yandy, and you know what? Yandy even said it on the show. She said it on the show. She when Erica was saying something, when she said, "Well, how come I'm not just putting Yandy?" Said, "But I just met you the other okay. day." And Yandy said that in the interview. She said, "I had just met her two days prior to the fight, so I really didn't know." Anything about her, and she was well, saying she the producers was, of the show. Was yeah. coming, no, Erica uh, was coming yeah, on she just like was, she was yeah. the best thing since yeah. sliced bread, yeah. and that she done had acting role. Like, yeah. girl, you was just a and video then she role. had the nerve to tell Tierra or me, we mm -hmm. were up for the same role, and she said, "Really, lottery ticket, bitch? Who went to go see it?" Okay, okay, but what what else has she done besides videos? Because I've never seen her before. I don't know. Oh, excuse me, I said I was going to curse, and I curse. Sorry, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying. <laughs> Erica, <laughs> you and you know what? Cambella's attitude can be stinky at times, even though I do kind of like her. But I was so team Cambella because I was just like, Cambella, you know, Cambella, you could tell was kind of thrown off. Yeah, because like, the girl the heck? Was you, from the Yeah, she was like, what the heck? Then she was going to say, yeah, because I'm here and you're here. And I'm thinking, like, 
Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know what music video you ever appeared in. I don't know who Raul is. I... Raul. <laughs> I, I just let's play Jeopardy. Who is Raul? Can somebody send me a picture? <laughs> How about that? People, when you see this video, tweet me a picture of Raul because mm -hmm. I have no idea who he is. But you know, that love of hip hop was crazy. You know, Chrissy, you cannot force a man to marry you, your marriage will be doomed mm -hmm. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Like, she started to seem desperate. Yeah, she is. She is. She started so to I need you to talk to, I need you to talk to my uncle and you know, blah blah blah. Chrissy, when he's ready to put a ring on it, you know, let him, let him be ready to put a ring mm -hmm. on it. You're just dooming yourself. Yeah. You want you want the fairy. You want the kids. Mm -hmm. You want the he maybe he doesn't want that. What you need to really do is sit there and you should have done this. And see, first of all, y'all grown ass people. When I meet someone, I know is it going to be about sex or is it going to be about a relationship. You need to know what you want from the door, and you need to make sure before you give six years of your life to someone that you know exactly what they want. Six years, you're wasting time. What is it that he really wants from you? Why are you with him? Are you just going to be his chick on the side, or is he going to I mean not on the side? Are you going to be his main girl, and then going to have chicks on the side? Like. What are you going to do? What are you going to be? If y'all going to do this business venture together, then you should have made, you should have signed a contract with him. If you want my advice on this, then I'm going to need to be working for you. You don't even have a job. Like, what are you doing besides loving hip-hop? <laughs> I don't know either. I've never heard of Chrissy until loving hip-hop. And that's how these people be coming off like, this when they come on TV, like, everybody know them, them, and they don't. I never heard of Kim Bell until this show. Me neither. I never heard of her. I never heard of no Yandy. I've heard of Jim Jones. You know, but. And she doesn't even have manager anymore. Yeah, she. Because yeah. Chrissy. Yeah. Chrissy needs to know her place. Yeah, she does. She really does need to know her place. And Chrissy is really starting to get out of line. She's starting to walk around on the show like she's this big, bad, tough, I'm me, and it's my way or the highway. You bet. First of all, Chrissy. It's bad enough Jim Jones is really not that hot anymore, if he ever really was. And now you're coming on the scene and you're messing with his whole thing with him and his manager. Let her do her job and let her do her. We don't need for you to come on here and say, oh, why are you dancing? Oh, Chrissy, that whole argument still gets me every time because I feel like <laughs> that was an unnecessary argument. Like, you really snapped on her because she was dancing to this song. Like, what? You should have got up and started dancing too. Like... It's, it should be water under the bridge. Like, you're too old for that. And I think that you forcing him to try to propose to you, like you said, is it's going to be doomed. Because, to, in my opinion, clearly, clearly Jim is happy with you. Because I think after six years, he'd left your ass if he wasn't that happy with you. But clearly, y'all are together, and he comes home to you every night, and y'all sleep. I mean, clearly, you have something that he wants. Okay, he may not be moving as fast as you may want them to, but trust me, if you do make him move as fast as you want him to, best believe your marriage won't last for six years. Okay? Your marriage will probably last six months. Not, let alone six months, because he'll be tired of you, because every time you go around, you I'm Mrs. Jones. <laughs> like, that's, like, that's an honor to be thrown around. Yeah, that's... Mm, I'm well, Khalees was Mrs. Jones, too. Khalees, who? Khalees. Uh, when was she married now? She I was, was going to say, Mrs. she was married to Jim Jones? <laughs> oh, <laughs> she gets all around. No. The children. Mm -mm -mm. Then who else we got to get on from this show? Olivia. I don't, you know what? You know what, I'm not going to go ahead. Can I ask a question? Where is Samaya? Samaya is no longer on the show. She's, she's been replaced by, she, if you ask me, Tierra she's been, been replaced by Tierra Marie. Okay. And uh, Erica is now joining the show too. But I mean, I was, I mean, Samaya was okay. After a while, like, I'm still not taking her music career seriously. Me neither, but see, Ma Samaya was a good Kiki. Mm -hmm. It wasn't But they made Kiki. us like her, and then they got her off the show when she was falling in love with the guy. And that's the last time we seen her, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I just got to say that, Olivia, you can't dog Emily out like that. And you should have said something to. Wait, I missed it because I don't Because what up. happened was. Um, Olivia was talking to Tierra Marie about Emily, 
because Emily and Fab was, I guess they got back together mm -hmm. and yeah, they are back or together. whatever they was doing. Yeah. So she was like, but he done did this and he done did that. And you know, Chrissy should have told her because that's her friend um, that it's not going to last, it's not going to work. She was just saying all this, like, if that's your girl, you're supposed to let her know. But this is my thing. You've known Emily, I guess, for a while on the show. What's wrong with you voicing your opinion to her saying, are you sure this is what you really want? Because you don't know if, you know, Fab wants to be with you. He refused to claim you. He refused to do that. I think that y'all being women, you should be able to talk to her about that. I think y'all close enough or y'all, you know, seem like y'all are. But it's just bullshit that she went behind her back and said that. I guess she was afraid of Chrissy because Chrissy... Already done with Kim Bella ass. I don't know, but I think she should have been woman enough to have a heart to heart with Emily. That would have been good for TV, not talk behind her back. I, well, I just, well, I mean, I don't know. I didn't see the episode that you're talking about. It's the same episode from last week. Well, I didn't, you missed I the didn't beginning. See, yeah, I didn't, I, yeah, I missed the beginning. I just think that uh, uh, certain situations, first of all, there's nothing that, there's nothing that Olivia could have said to Emily that she didn't already know. I mean, Emily already knew that Fab was cheating on her. So, you know, he, she, she probably didn't know who he was cheating on her with, but she knew he was cheating on her. That's why they weren't together anymore. So I don't think it was really a big secret of somebody should tell her this because she already knew he was cheating on her. Mm -hmm. I think the main focus is if Emily feels as though she wants to get back with Fab, even if you don't think that it's right, that's none of your business. You know what I'm saying? That really is none of your business because... There's so much that you can say to a friend before you have to step back and say, look, mm -hmm. if you need my support, I'm here for you. If this is what you want to do, then you do what it is that you want to do. But never should a friend sit there and say to them, well, you know, because, you know, he does, because you, now you're getting into the middle of it. Just like the whole situation with Jennifer and Evelyn. I think that instead of Jennifer voicing her opinion about Chad, she should have just said, well, if Evelyn's happy, I'm happy case closed because then once you voice your opinion then you start opening up a can of worms so now your friend is looking at you well also is that how you really feel you know and then your friend kind of feels uncomfortable because then they start saying well can I go to you because I don't know what to tell you I think that Olivia should have just let it go because Emily already knows that Fabulous was cheating on her mm -hmm. he probably still is which I don't understand why as big as her behind is I don't know why he cheating on her <laughs> that big behind but I, hey I guess because I got I uh, got friends that well one friend in particular that break up to make up, but I'll be like, you know what? I don't even want to hear that yeah, shit. Yeah, like, like you know, I don't go to other people and talk about it because you yeah. already know. Yeah, so I think that as a friend, you should be there to support her. But as far as that whole, oh, somebody should tell, no, somebody should not because she's a grown woman. She knew what was going on. That's why she broke up with him in the first mm -hmm. place. And if they feel as though they want to get back together, then let them get back together. But you know what? That's none of your business. You know what? It's going to be a time when that fucking light come on in Emily's head. Yeah. But you know what, your ladies, for all those ladies that's in that situation, it's all about knowing your motherfucking worth. If you don't know your worth, you're not just ladies, let, but men too. Yeah, well, you yeah, know, more people. women do it than men. Yeah. But, but I mean, you know, you it's all about knowing your worth just really and knowing what you will stand for. You got to know what you will accept and what you won't accept. If you know it ain't right and you still accept it, then you need to really cancel that I out. I call those people, though, I call those type of people, people who fall for a Coke and a smile. Mm. Someone who will come up to you with a Coke and a smile and you, oh my God, he likes me. He likes me. He likes me. Yeah. Did you see what he did? Yay. He got me a soda. Yay. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, in these new no. situations, it's you all know? about the dollar and the smile. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but truth be told, they're still living in their mother's basement. Mm -hmm. But you ain't all right with me. But, you know. So. Moving along moving to. Moving along to. Let's go to Braxton Family Values. You know, because I made a cameo on the show. Oh, you but, did? Yes. Before we talk about that cameo, oh, 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 a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend wanted to date your mom. You never met him, don't know who he is, and you want to set him up with your mom? What? Where did he do that at? Okay. And you want somebody 27 to be your stepdad? Stop. Playing. That must have been for the show. That had to have been for the show. Because there's no way in the world Tawanda was serious. 
I'm sorry, Tawanda. You know you're my good girlfriend. But there's no way of a friend of a friend of a friend. You were serious. They had to have been for the show. The producers had to have said that. I'm trying to tell you, Miss Evelyn was reading the whole time. Don't tell me because I didn't see that part. She read. What was I but, doing missing all these episodes? And then they was at the table talking about it. I, I love seeing the sisters together talking, reading, having a good time. Oh, it was fun. It oh, was fun. Oh, my God. Tracy and Tamar. Trace, Tracy Ooh. is straight up Baltimore. I don't know what part of Maryland they're from, but that's Baltimore all up and down. And Tracy and, and you know, Tamar said they don't fight, but... Come on now. Tracy, I don't no, know. Tracy is straight up North Philly. <laughs> Tracy, I see Tracy in her pajamas and She will bust a bottle yeah. on a corner and stab the shit out you with that bottle. Mm -hmm. She was over Tamar. She was, she very was much over. You know what? But this is my thing. You must know the level of respect when it comes to siblings, okay? Tracy, you are the oldest. Your job should have been to get Tamar in line. Mm -hmm. Once she came out the womb, mm -hmm. you should have had her ass in line. You don't let her just talk to you like that. I don't even talk to my brothers and sisters like that. I mean, if, if I know I'm right about something, you know, but I, it's a level of respect. Let me tell you something. My sister and her. <laughs> what? Talk to me the way Tamar talks mm, to Tracy. Mm, mm. Cause let me tell you something. One day me and my sister was arguing. True story. One day me and my sister was arguing. And my mom was sitting right there. I, t I told my mom, you better not say nothing. I How told you doing? my sister off. <laughs> and then I had to remind her, when mommy and daddy wasn't here, I was the one being sitting your ass and wiping your ass. Don't you ever talk to me. See, my sister, being as though she's 21, she and I, we will go at it as brothers and sisters and as siblings do. But like you said, she knows how far to take it. Because then I have to take the hat off and take the glasses off and say, do me a favor. Do not play with me, okay? Mm -hmm. You better go back to the 70s and 80s. You have to. Hands. You know why? Because I think that younger siblings must realize that, no, you're not supposed to let your older siblings disrespectful respect you or talk to you any type of way because I don't disrespect or talk to my sister any type of way. Mm -hmm. But you need to learn a level of respect when it comes to your older siblings. And my mom definitely taught my sister that at an early age. That when we are not here, this is who you listen to. Mm -hmm. And you better listen. Okay? And mm -hmm. Tracy, and like you said, I think Tracy should have put... Because Tamar talks to Tracy as if Tracy is her child. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I don't like it. <laughs> I just like... Tracy, you need to get back with her. But you would think that Tamar was the old and <laughs> you would think that because Tracy does not really say too much. Not even that. You would think that Tamar and uh, Trina will argue more because they are more close in age. But it's the younger versus the older going at it. I just can't. But I think it, it has something to do with that whole situation when they were at the mm -hmm, when they were talking about the cancel with the whole. When Tracy was pregnant and, you know, she mm -hmm. felt as though the sisters thought that she it was her fault that they didn't get signed when they were supposed to because, you know, she was pregnant. And that could be the case. And Tamar may not be actually saying that's the case, mm -hmm. but it could possibly be the case. You know, and Tamar probably was young. And if Tamar was anything like she was now, I can so see her getting <laughs> smart and nasty. You know, I'm just saying. If she's anything like, if she was like she is now, where Tamar just says what she wants to say, I can see that happening. And she probably says something indirect to Tracy, and it probably stuck to Tracy for all these years. And Tracy probably made Tracy feel as though she was the reason why they didn't get signed originally when they first was supposed to. I think, I really think Tracy Braxton should just be Tracy Braxton. Yeah, like, so she don't have to go after this, the microphone. No. She don't have to, you know, she just be Tracy yeah. Braxton. Just be the sister. I hated that whole thing with the hair salon thing. Mm -hmm. Because I felt as though, not first of all, not all hair salons serve you champagne. Not all hair salons serve you coffee. Tracy's hair salon, okay, fine. Tamar does not want Tracy's hair salon to be in Baltimore or no, whatever I part you want, whatever. But... But, if Tracy does not want to serve up champagne and coffee in her hair salon or sweep her floors a certain way in her hair salon, then goddammit, she doesn't have to. Let Tracy do Tracy. But it's it got to be Tracy's some type of upscale. No, no, okay, it has to be some type of... But you know what? 
But you know what? There are some female hair salons out there that they may not be the most upscales, but they are still making their money and they still have a good but clientele. But in Maryland, though? No, no, no. I'm Tracy. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay, Listen right. to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I didn't say Maryland because maybe Tamar is right about it not being in Maryland because I think Tamar is looking at it as you can get more clientele, clientele outside of where and you stars. are. Yeah, outside Who of where you are. Maryland? But... Just because Gi Giuseppe is doing his hair salon a certain way does not mean that Tracy has to do her hair salon. Mm -hmm. Let Tracy do Tracy. And, you know, Tracy's personality may be what brings the clientele to her. Not because she's serving champagne and coffee. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to drink champagne while I'm getting my hair done because I don't want hair floating through my champagne. First of all, I don't like to eat in a barbershop because of the fact that all those hairs are flying around and everywhere. I just think that Tamar... I think her heart was in the right place, but I just think that that's not Tracy. Tracy is not a champagne girl. She's a Bud Light girl. Okay? Mm -hmm. Clearly. So let Tracy do Tracy and just stay out of it. You know, because like Tracy said, instead of you giving an encouraging word, you're always criticizing but and down talking. But if, 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 if Tracy is going to go to Tamar X for a loan, you know, your money ought to be going to... You know, you got it. You you you're worrying about where your money is going to. Is it, is it a good investment? But that's true. But that does and not mean. But that does not mean that that gives you the right to tell me how I should no, run you my should, salon. No, you should. And that's what Tamar's doing. No. Trying to tell her how to run her salon. <laughs> because, Just because I'm going to well, you for a okay. loan does not mean you can say, "Oh, Mikael, but you cannot do this with your hands." But she because she wants to give her. She wants to. I guess she just wants someone to go to the right place. You no, know, I but, and I understand mm -hmm. that. But you just because you're giving someone a loan does not give you the right to tell them what they can do with the money. Your your main focus should be as long as I'm getting my money back in return. If what you do with the money is what you do with it. As long as you give it back to me when you're supposed to give it back. There should be no, oh, but I'm giving you this money, but you have to run your salon like this. No, because in the best case, then you need to open up your own salon really if you want to run it a certain way. I really way. think it's time, and Tracy, no, for real, on some real stuff, <laughs> and Tracy really wants this fame that she wants, she has to leave Maryland. Get your family out of Maryland and move to Atlanta. You can open up a salon in Atlanta or go to L.A. Yeah. Stop playing. I, I can see Tracy better in Atlanta. Yeah. yeah I think she could do better in Atlanta. And she'll be closer to Trina and Tawana. But I don't think her husband's for it. That's what I think is also. Because her husband, I don't think her husband's for it. I think her what? husband does not want her to go. Mm. Uh, that's, it's, it's, and you know when you're not, married, when you're married, yeah, you have to. It's about compromise. It's about compromise. So it's like her husband may be a main factor too on it. He may not want her to do it. Because mm. he may not want to leave Maryland. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? Well, good luck, Trace. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. Um, no, oh, yeah, I made a, I made a cameo, you know, because Trina was crying about Tawanda oh, yeah, that was and sad. everything. Because, you know, sad. that's your sister, and you don't want to put her out on the street, mm -hmm. I feel. But, you know, it's, it's, it's time for Tawanda to get her own apartment, you know, find a babysitter. <laughs> and I'm not just talking Andre. I mean... Miss Evelyn. What is she Ms. doing? Miss Evelyn don't want to raise no... You know, Why not? I think they all have newfound fame and they got to do something besides no. just sitting around. Let me tell you something. Miss Evelyn, no, but Miss Evelyn is a grandmother. <laughs> and let me tell you something. My grandmother, Miss Bill mm -hmm. McClendon, raised... She babysit all her grandkids, okay? Mm -hmm. 732 8th and Jefferson Street, okay? Every weekend, Miss Bill had about 15 to 16 grandkids running up and down that third floor house, okay? Because that Miss Bill was the old school grandma. Mm -hmm. She was one of those grandmoms that had all her grandkids at her house. Miss Evelyn, you babysit your damn grandkids, Why okay? Not? She ain't got to babysit. <laughs> Why not? Uh -uh, with That's what you look like your, your grandma. No, you want your uh, grandma to go uh, to your grandma's house. I know, house. but her grandmother's not just there just to babysit. No, she's not just there to babysit. But you when does she ever babysit? We are in a new <laughs> age of grandmothers, okay? No, because you are in a new age. <laughs> We are She's trying to get back. She's trying okay. to get Michael like Braxton back. Oh, that right. You can do it. I can do it too. Uh-uh. Stop uh -uh. trying to get that group back. <laughs> she can but babysit. No. She don't have no. Tawanda can find a responsible babysitter. <laughs> Doesn't Barb babysit? No. Yes, she does. Because <laughs> no, every time I walk through that door, she got a whole bunch of baby Hueys in here. Look, you included. No. <laughs> she got. She got. No, bitch, don't do it. But she don't. Miss, Miss Evelyn don't ha shouldn't have to babysit. No. Tracy I, needs to find a responsible babysitter. Tawanda. And t who I said? Tracy. Tracy. <laughs> Andre needs to get a fucking job. Okay. <laughs>
Because watching kids is not doing it, okay? Y'all got to get out and bring some money on that table. Don't be relying on no WeTV checks, okay? You need to go out and get a J-O-B. Well, that's another question, too. How much is WeTV paying them that they're still at training? House? I don't know. <laughs> that's the real question. Because you would I think don't know. that, you know, or know. is this for a show? I don't know. It is not been to Andre and Tawanda with the show. Or no. <laughs> no. Because she would be cursing him out about not paying the bills. And he would be babysitting the kids, taking them to the uh, doctor all late. I look. I feel bad. I'm just saying. I feel Ms. bad. Miss Evelyn can babysit from time to time. But it's not Miss Evelyn's responsibility. No, I'm not saying it's her responsibility. No, I, excuse kids. me, I did not say that. But I'm saying we all know from the old school that our grandparents used to babysit us. I'm not saying babysit them 24 seven, but I mean she can drop, she can drop them because you'll never see. The only time I ever up. seen Miss Evelyn babysit those kids was on the first season when they all went away. And Miss Evelyn seemed like a jet setting grandma. She is. Where not, is she going? She be in L. A. New, New York, York. What? Atlanta. She be every. I'm surprised I ain't seen my. Miami yet. You know, Miss Evelyn gets around. Looking and for she, a man. <laughs> you was a mess. No, she's not. Well, uh, hello. <laughs> Every episode I see her on, it's her talking about a man. Because they trying to find her man. Maybe Miss Evelyn is fine being Miss Evelyn. Yeah, well, okay. And she, you know, read to your grandkids. You know, read to them. <laughs> you know, tell them how their mothers used to be when they was kids. You know, oh, I don't ever see a scene of the grand, all the grandkids at her house and they just reading and talking to they her. Don't have to, she don't have to sit there and read no... Anyway, I made a cameo at the dinner, and you know, they made it seem like, I'm first just of saying, all, I, for, when I grew up, I'm sorry, but when I was growing up, me and my cousins was always at my grandma's house. you put about when, how you was. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's not about you're right. Me. It's not about me. It's not about me. Not but I'm just like saying, I'm just saying, grandmothers love to be around their grandkids, okay? And, 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 and so when knows. I see a grandmother with all these grandkids, okay, well, first and all, I never see them at her house, oh, hello, um, do you hello, really? wait a minute, <laughs> hold up now. <laughs> Miss Ellen raised six children, okay? okay? She got her grandchildren. She raised six, but and my grandmother mean, raised ten. Okay, but sometimes it's like, God damn it, I've been a mom for an X amount of time. Okay. Now, if I want to deal with these grandchildren, I will deal with them but when I want to. I don't have to be around me 24-7. I didn't say I'm that. I didn't say 24-7. I'm not running no day kids. I know my kids out on the road. So, that means I got a babysitter. I did not say that. Because some people are tired. I know. But some grandmothers are like, damn it, I done had these. Kids, uh, and I'm not ready to raise wait, no See, this is children. why this is why Tawanda and Andre can't find a job because one of them is out looking for a job and the other one is watching the kids. Oh my when god, the kids should be at the house and both of them should be looking for a job. It shouldn't be hard for Tawanda to get a job. Atlanta always has something going on <laughs> when it comes to acting. The Tyler Perry Studios is always <laughs> high. right up the road, okay. okay. And you definitely got your foot in the door because your sister's name is so you mean to, and, and, <laughs> and the and. game takes in Atlanta and let's stay together takes in Atlanta and uh, for better or worse all, all them damn jobs in Atlanta she may not want to be on those shows it she don't matter it don't show. matter and put food on the motherfucking table <laughs> okay. that uh, I'm about to say that Joe ain't doing that uh, Andre ain't doing uh, why you call him Joe I, I call him that by accident but <laughs> yeah I made a cameo. They made it seem like everybody keeps saying, Why are you so quiet? I was not quiet. I was talking. I was singing. And eating. And eating. <laughs> and drinking. Okay. They gave me a real good time. They tried. You. Oh, they no, know, but first but of all, but yeah. first of all, let me tell y'all <laughs> that dinner, that dinner scene could have been an episode of its own. Because it was fun. It was a whole lot of fun. It was like when everybody, everybody did come in at different times. You know, we just had, it was a fun dinner. It was a really fun dinner. And they didn't put in a lot of the jokes that were said at that table. But it was fun. Well, you know, fun, TV fun, is fun. heavily edited. I know. You know, now I get to see how reality TV is. All they, they see me cutting that fucking steak up. Y'all, at least I was doing something I do best besides talk. Easy. <laughs> So, you know, shout out to everybody that tweeted me. My Twitters, my cell phone, my Facebook. It went crazy. But, you know, thank you to uh, Tamar for inviting me down for Tawanda's birthday. It was, and it was really, really fun. Um, let's talk about this Mob Wives. These girls. <laughs> so we, we covering everything. These girls. Mob Wives. Start with Renee. 
Renee. Start with her. Renee Gray Graziano. Graziano. First of all, how much work? There's not that. You know what? <laughs> you know what? She's <laughs> gonna end up looking like Joan Rivers. She's gonna keep getting her face and body done until she gets it right, which means it will never be done right. Okay? You already look hard in the face. Yeah. She looks like Ursula from A Little Mermaid. Oh, okay. That's she right. Like. She does. She does. I'm just saying. Renee, okay? So you getting full body surgery. You know, you want to remove your fat from your body and put it to your ass. Oh, You're I fucking 50 years old. Or close to it. Like, who? No, I'm sure she's past 50. I'm sure she is past 50. Because if she's not past 50 with a face like that, child, she lived a hard knock life. I'm just I am I am finding it hard to find the words to say I'm to Renee. You know what? You, you know had what? your time in the sun, okay? Mm -hmm. There's time where things drop and wrinkles come. And they go. And oh, well, no, they yeah, don't know. they don't never go. No, they don't. And surgery can't fix every fucking thing. Sometimes you gotta do the hard work that's required. Like you are supposed to exercise. Mm -hmm. You did not exercise. No. So you throw that, oh I'm gonna get lipo here and they're gonna remove this hair and put it there. You done fucked your whole body up. Mm -hmm. You know you ripped out what she said she ripped red the came whole apart. Hair oh did you see the hole? Oh my god. She ripped the stitches mm -hmm. apart and then ripped the hole in her back. You know what? Beauty beauty really costs a lot of money. And it's not even if you get Surgery, but you know, it, beauty, you know, beauty is within. You can be the ugliest person walking the streets, but if you have that inner beauty, where every time somebody meets you or when you're talking to somebody and they just feel mm -hmm. as though you just have this thing about you that they don't want to leave you, that is what's really important. Even you though I don't see that, mm -hmm. but it is because you know what? I think if Renee stopped trying to focus on being one of the pretty girls in the group, she could be a likable person. But every time she turns around, first of all, she talks like she has a trait in her voice, mm -hmm. and then she, she's That's always right, talking I'm about her, her about you know trying to be pretty and this like Renee, I'm so, can I, you know what, Renee needs she's she needs you know, a seat for getting yeah you know what surgery. yeah she's gonna get she's gonna get a seat. But can I ask you a question? Me or her? No, you. Oh, go ahead. Or in y'all too. Mm -hmm. Who is Big Ange? Big Ange is big. Sam, Big Angelo. That's who he is. That okay? has to be Renee's brother. Okay. It has to be. That's Big Angelo. Because I was like, She looked like a man, and she know Big <laughs> Angelo. She done looked at Big Angelo. Got uh, her lips done. done. Got her nails done. She wants to be like Big Angelo. Uh, I'm not here for Big Angelo. You know what? Some people could get plastic surgery, and it's okay. But, Renee, you, you will never. I shouldn't say never, because you never should say never. But you can't. It's making me mad. I understand what you said about beauty comes from in, from the inside out. But let me tell you something. Beauty, when it comes to TV shows, when it comes to music, when it comes to movies, they don't care about how beautiful you are on the inside. They care about that appearance on the outside. But this is a reality and show. It is a reality show. This is not show. a beauty contest. All of them are over the age of 40 or close to it. Mm -hmm. Like, Renee, you have a 17-year-old son. You are divorced. Mm -hmm. You, you know, you look like Ursula from The Little right. Mermaid. How much pretty do you but think you're going to get? But she's insecure. Now she's in front of millions of people every week. And now she's upset about her body. Now she's really upset about her body. Because she probably, she probably, she probably didn't like how she looked on the first season of the show. So she's like, damn, I got to get it together. I got to change this, you know. And she went out and got that surgery for nothing. And I am and so tired of talking about her surgery because yeah. they wasted the whole oh, fucking show oh, her about show. her surgery. I don't give a fuck if Carla didn't call, if Pepito didn't call. I don't give a fuck. You, you know, you got messy. At least she sent you a text message and you didn't respond because you thought the text yeah. message was shade. Yeah, yeah, th exactly. So if you didn't respond to that text message that she sent you, I wouldn't send you up nothing else either because you didn't respond to the text message that I sent you. And you would get mad at her, oh, because she didn't call you. Well, why would she call you if you're not responding to her messages that she sends you? Mm -hmm. You know? So I'm, like, well, I'm going to have my I got my groove back party. No, like, my, my new life party. What new life? The, I, my, no, my, a lot, no, I'm, I'm here. I am here. I, I was here. You know what made me That's mad? What she, she even talking about Kanye West's mind while she was on that table. 
Like, that's disrespectful. You don't do no shit like that. What if Kanye was watching that? Or somebody from Kanye's family was watching that? You don't say nothing like that. That was wrong. I mean, I don't think she said it in a disrespectful way. She said it in a way as though she was scared and nervous that she didn't want what happened to her. His mom happened to her, which I think a lot of people think about now after the situation with his mom, because I think it always takes that one incident for people to wake up and say, oh my God, should I really do this? So I don't think she was saying it in a disrespectful way, even though I think that may, like I agree, maybe she should not have said it, but I don't think she said it in a disrespectful way. I think she just said it in a nervous way, like, I don't want what happened to his mom to happen to me, because who wants that to happen? Well, you know what? If you don't want that to happen, then you don't need to go out and go get that surgery. No, every should. time, any surgery that you do is a risk. But you know okay. why? But she wasn't thinking like that. She was thinking about the beauty of it until she got on that table. Mm -hmm. And then that's when she started getting nervous. Mm -hmm. Once, because before she got on the table, she was all excited. Oh, I'm going to have a new body. I'm going to like this. You can't tell me nothing. You won't be able to tell me nothing. And then she gets on that table and she gets all nervous. And but Did you see when they cut that big slab of fat and off and put it on the table? Uh, that, would, that alone would make me throw up. I don't even know how doctors do that. Because I'm... Oh. Listen, y'all, I know some people might want to go get surgery. Sometimes it's like, well, I'm going to just get this belly fat sucked up out of me. I ain't doing that shit. It's just going to take a lot of hard work. As much as I've ate to get this, it's going to take that same hard yeah, work to get it off. Yeah, it would have been nice if Renee at least tried to work out before she yeah. was, you know. But I don't like, know. people people always want the quick way out of stuff. And sometimes you got to take that road less travel. Not don't do the, the the easy quick fix the quick that's what you call a quick fix scheme because sometimes you know what you call it a plastic surgery nightmare I'm done talking about that let's talk about that motherfucking party she had okay so I guess Drita and Karen, Karen and Ramona. Drita yeah I don't know Ramona is well, she on the show no she's she's well, just Karen's there a hype man she's famous okay there. so you know she's trying to be on the show now she, 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 Clearly. They need more people anyway. Yeah, they do, because four ain't enough. Because Karen was saying, okay, Drita talking about how she fucked her up, and she's saying all of this, so they bring all the old school drama back into the new school, I mean, to the new season. And, you know, I guess Drita, you know, she's going to school to box or whatever. I'm getting mad talking about this. I'm getting mad because this episode was so fucking boring. You know, it was just dumb. They arguing over old shit. You know, they not letting it go. Well, Drita's not arguing about it. Drita wanted to make up with her. Karen but but Karen don't want to... Why would you... Would you want to make up with somebody that's going around telling people that they whipped your ass? That's what happened. So she's like, no, bitch, you're not going to just try to make nice with me after you going around saying you whipped my ass. I want to see you do it. If you did this to me, if you put me in the hospital, where's the photos when I was in the hospital? Who is you tweeting and texting on this phone? I was trying to figure out who that is. I don't know who that is. Sorry. All right, uh, Tanya. All right. Who's Tanya? I don't know. I was trying to Google who's a hood rat. But, you know, they was just fighting over dumb stuff. And then Karen, I mean, not Karen. Drita? No, Ramona. Fuck her, Ramona. Renee. Renee. She comes, everybody come on over take a picture. Yeah, why? Renee, why would you do that? All my girlfriends. Come on, you know that they don't still like each other, so why would you do that? You know, that's just causing... They're stirring and, the pot, yeah. making it hype for no reason, and then the show goes off. And now we have to wait all the way until next Sunday to see the fight. It was fucking stupid. Like, I don't give a fuck about her getting her surgery, Renee getting surgery on her body. It's nasty, it's scary. Anybody that... Anybody, first of all, is she going to move? Is she even going to sue these people? Oh, that's what I was... That's what I kept asking myself, and I didn't even bother to ask. Because I was waiting to hear if she was going to say it. If, But can you really sue somebody? I mean, okay, fine. She probably signed her life away. But Because this is how I look at it. Okay, it's not a 100% guarantee that you're going to come out looking the way you want to look. Okay, mm -hmm. fine. It wasn't the doctor's fault that her back ripped because she ripped it on her own because she, she kept moving. Up. And they kept telling her, stop moving. You're not supposed to move. Mm -hmm. So she did that on her own. I mean, you went in there thinking that you were going to come out looking like Farrah Fawcett and you came out looking like Glenn Close. Mm. It's not going to happen. You need to realize that you're, you're over 50, point blank period, and that's, that's all I'm going to say about it. 
I mean, I think once you reach a certain peak in your age, plastic surgery should be far from the back. You age should, gracefully. Yeah, age gracefully, Renee. Even though I'm sure that's kind of... And then she had the nerve. The nerve to say that she... She had the nerve to say that she went in there pretty and came out ugly. Do you know no. I wanted to You went in there I ugly was so mad. and you came out ugly Because How if you go anywhere pretty you say that you went in there pretty and came out ugly. How dare you say that? Because she is fucked up in the head and she's not thinking right. Because if you're pretty, why would you try to make yourself more prettier? She you said your body I went in there pretty and I came out ugly. Now you can't say something on script that. <laughs> and if they did script that and she agreed to say it, <laughs> then something's wrong with that. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, Renee grabs Stop, Obama. stop following at the Big Ange. Stop it. Big Angelo is, you know what, I'm done. Oh. Wait! Somebody sprayed some perfume. Oh, they did. Wait, Big Ange came out of nowhere. Mm, I've never even seen her before. <laughs> she just looked like a man, but she had Renee's voice. But no, that, that was a man. It was a man. It was. It had to be. Goodbye. Did you see how big he was? You tried to hit. But she oh, did somebody have pooped. No, that ain't poop. I know. I smell poop, but they tried to mix it in with the air freshener. Mm, that perfume. Oh, you can smell it. Is Charles here? No, it don't smell like shit to me. I oh, know smell, shit. No, it smells like somebody tried to cover the smell up with that. I can smell it. Smell it with perfume, really? If that's perfume, it could be air freshener. No, that's really? that's perfume. Well, that perfume stinks. Yeah, it does. If that's I perfume, like I don't like it either. Can I help you? Come here. Before we go. Katy Perry and uh, Russell Brand are getting a divorce after 14 months of marriage. And you know what? This made me sick when I seen that. I never talked about it. I talked about it. Never even talked about it. But this is my thing. People have got to stop getting married for the wrong reasons. You can't tell me. First that of all, they, who's going to take him serious? I couldn't even. I didn't even believe that that was a serious relationship. I'm sorry to cut you off, but it just didn't seem serious. But they were married for 14 months, and then they're talking about how much money he's going to get from Mikael. You were just looking down through this whole video. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's something on this chair, all this sticky stuff, and I wish you would get new chairs for 2012. It's all hurting my butt. Mr. Big Shot. Look, okay, <laughs> look, marriage is not a fucking game. If you're going to get married, it should really be for death do us part. If you are rushing someone to marry you, or if you just marrying because the dick is good, then you need to just let it go. Because you're going to get tired of it eventually. But well, who wants to let go of the dick? Marry, marry for the right reason. You, you don't never if you know if you're marrying for the dick and you need to be marrying for love because you love them you got to you got to just know why you marry you don't want to let go of good that's just that you can get that anywhere can you so <laughs> I'm just asking because I don't know I have no idea so you would get married because the sex is just good no I would say you love me. me I don't even want to get married I'm just saying for other people you know I just think that marriage is good, it's very good, but I also think that, you know, no one should be forced into marrying somebody. I mean, you can live a, you can live a good, you can live, I call it the Oprah and Stedman. You don't have to be married. Look at them, they've been together for over 25, over 20, going on 30 years, and they're not married. They were engaged once, but they're not married. You don't have to be married, you know, as long as you are committed to that person, as long as you love that person. Y'all, you know, you don't have to be married. People get married because it's tradition, it's what is it it's what's expected of you when it comes to your family, sometimes your religion. But I think that, you know, even though I don't condone I mean I don't want to say condone. I don't I don't, you know, say that marriage is bad because I mean if you want to get married, I'll go to your wedding if you invite me. I'm not gonna tell you not to get married, but I don't want everybody to think that, oh, I have to get married. 
Mm-hmm. And you don't have to get married. You don't have to. As long as you, you and the person that you with are happy, y'all can be together 40, 80 years and do y'all. You know, I'm happy of, with Oprah and Stepman because Oprah and Stepman proved that you don't have to be married to, to, to have a successful, long, strong relationship. I think that a lot of people don't really take counseling seriously. No, they don't. They don't. And that's you know, why a lot of them get married and then 14, 12, two days later, they're divorced. Like, who does? Wasn't Britney Spears married for like two days to that guy? And well, I, that, that's because she wasn't right in the head at that Well, time. is she ever right in the head? Hello? I think Britney is fine today. Well, I mean... You don't think so? Today I, I don't think pay, I don't, Truth be told, I don't pay attention to her. Only thing is she just can't dance like she used to. I don't pay attention to her. So I don't know if she's right or not right. You know, I can't right. really speak on that because I don't pay attention to her. I don't even, I can't even tell you when's the last time I seen Britney. Oh, yes, I can. That one. You don't want to know when's the last time I when seen her. When she walked out on the um, MTV, what was it? The VMAs. When the, she introduced Br- Beyonce. Yeah, that was the last time I seen her. Was that the last oh time you seen God, her? Oh my God, we didn't talk about her this whole video. No, we didn't. But was that the last time you seen Britney? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was the last time I seen her too. So I don't really know how she's doing. I don't know if she's okay in the head. She can't be okay in the head anytime she agreed to do that mm. on her own tribute. I don't know <laughs> who made that that name Tiana May and put that all over Twitter and said that's the name of Beyonce's baby name. Just hang it up, okay? That ain't the baby name. The baby name is Brooklyn Houston Cardinals. That's the name of the baby. She's gonna have this baby on the fourth of January or February, and. No, she's Beyonce's about to have that baby soon. She's gonna have it within the next month. But I don't think right now. I really don't think right now. It's not gonna be on the fourth. It's gonna be on the fourth. You know why it's not gonna be on the fourth? Because everybody keeps thinking it's gonna be on the fourth. Of this month or next month, it's not gonna be on the fourth. First of all, her mom's birthday is on the fourth, and so she wouldn't dare take that away from her mother. Yeah, she would. <laughs> She'd be like, because my mother is on the fourth, and my baby is on the fourth. You know fourth. what I think? I think so many people got. I think so many people got all head spin with that whole thing that she did on the Roseland DVD that, that now they're taking that to the head. Mm-hmm. It's not that serious. All of that is a coincidence. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? It's not like it was planned. It was a coincidence that Barack Obama was elected mm-hmm. on the fourth. He's the 44th president. His birthday is August 4th. Her birthday is September 4th. It's all a coincidence. She didn't plan that. It's just all a coincidence. The only thing that wasn't a coincidence is getting married on April 4th. Well, no, that wasn't a coincidence. No, that was not. But all everything else Mm-hmm. Is a coincidence, and I mean, yes, you know. And before we, but she go, got married before Barack Obama was even elected. Remember? Yeah, that's so. It is a coincidence. Before we go, <laughs> goodbye. It is. When you before, think about it, it is. It is married. It is 2012. This is a very important election year. If you are not registered to vote, or if you just turned 18, please get registered to vote. Again, this is a very important election, so you all need to go out and vote. You know, some people always say, well, my voice never get heard, so I'm not going to go vote. That's the reason why your voice is never heard, because Because you you don't don't go out and vote. If you don't vote, don't bitch. That's all I got to say to y'all. And voting is easy, and it's free, and it only takes about a minute if you know your name, your address, and where you live. And have an ID on you. And have your ID on you. It's not even a whole minute. It's very free. You can go to your local post office and find your uh, a voter registration form and fill it out. Or since this is election year, you're going to be having some of those people walking around your neighborhood stopping you on the street mm-hmm. like they did me. I will never forget the day the woman stopped me. On my, uh, I was walking home and this girl stopped me and asked me was I registered to vote. And I said no. And I filled it out right then and there. And a week later, I had my vote, registered vote blah, 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 card in Ooh, the mail. I had it in the car in the mail. So, I mean, you know, it works and you guys should do it. It's it's you, you really should do it. And this is a very important election year. Don't think just because Obama won in 08 and because he's a popular president, which his approval has been sinking. You know, it actually went up. If, well, it did go up, but it just went up recently. Mm-hmm. Don't think that because, oh, he had all this support in 08 that there are a lot because there are a lot of people who are not going to support it's him. It's not a lot of hoopla for him this for year. Real, for real. Why? Yeah. Because he is actually president now. Yeah, the hoopla like was because he wasn't president and they were wait. And now that he is president, some people are like, oh, all I've been hearing about this Iowa caucus, Iowa caucus, that's which is tomorrow. Right? Yes, which is tomorrow. And then I found out how they actually do it, and I'm thinking that people actually vote. It's not done like that. It's done differently, and I don't have time to explain it. But go out and vote. I mean, go out and get registered to vote. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you guys maybe Friday. Peace.